Dr. K joining me from All Valley Animal Care Center. And this morning we're talking about pet emergencies, both what is an actual pet emergency and what to do in the event of one. So Dr. K, break down a few of these for us. Well, the first thing I would say, if you think you, your pet has a problem, call your veterinarian. Okay. It, <laughs> that's, that's the biggest thing. You know, it's, it's not, it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Right. And that we're uh, available 24 hours a day, or at least some veterinarian is. Mm -hmm. So if you, have a, you think you have a problem, call somebody. Okay. And we can certainly help uh, you with them. But there are some obvious ones, you know, like if your dog gets hit by a car, sure. I think it's probably time to send it in. If it has a seizure, eye problem, um, has vomiting or diarrhea for more than 24 hours, difficulty breathing. Okay. Um, and there's a whole uh, bunch of them, like straining to urinate and defecate. Sure. Uh, if they get into any toxins, poisons, anything you think that um, you wouldn't eat and they ate, it's probably a good idea to at least call somebody about it. All right, absolutely. Because you're not going to know everything, but it's, you just have to just call and think about it. Okay, and, and there's some less obvious ones in here too, and I know it's starting to get hot outside, we're, we're reaching into summertime. I, I saw you put on here heat stroke is one of them, so what are actual signs of heat stroke when it comes to a dog? Well, heat stroke is uh, generally they'll get panting, they won't want to move, they can either be, well they usually get really, really hot. Okay. Uh, hyper, they get hyperthermia, I mean they can get unbelievably hot and they just get dehydrated and they get, get through electrolyte imbalances and then they can just get disorientated then. I've known more than one person, people that have taken their dog out to the green belt or into the foothills and end up packing them back. And that's not too cool for the people that are packing them back, but uh, they've come in and, you know, we've done what we need, put them on IV fluids or whatever it takes to get them through it. Okay, I also see leg injuries on here now. I would assume with something like a dog, like a leg injury could actually be pretty serious, even if it looks like something minor, right? Right, you just never know. Sometimes, as I'm saying, young dogs, that, you know, lots of people sell what their dogs them before a day or two, but in the young puppy, you probably better bring them in um, because they can, they have growth plate issues. It doesn't take much to just kind of move that growth plate and it needs to be attended to before it gets more, uh, a big of a problem. Okay, so obviously you want to take normal precautions here. All Valley Animal Care Center, you can reach at 888-0818, so that would obviously be correct. a good one to reach out to. And you guys are 24 hours, correct? Correct. All right, so there you go. In the event of any pet emergency, you can always call Dr. K.